Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing a SIH 2015 launch. This is the Chagere Lecoult Master Ultra Thin Tourbillon. So 40 millimeters in rose gold, that's the diameter. It's 11.5 millimeters thick, and it is 46.9 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip with a 21 millimeter spacing between the lugs. On my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see it's actually a good size match. And at 40 millimeters, this isn't necessarily a ladies watch. You do have to be comfortable with gem setting, but the size of it and the presence is more unisex. I think this is a timepiece for those who want a little bit more opulence with less of the complexity found on the GMT date JLC tourbillon watches. The watch easily slides underneath the cuff. It's pretty flat and you can see it being less than 47 millimeters from lug to lug. It's nowhere near the edge of my wrist and could probably wear well on a wrist as small as 13 centimeters in circumference, certainly 13 and a half. Taking a look at the strap, it's large rectangular scale alligator leather semi-gloss. It's got bolstering to give it thickness, a monotone stitch. It's got a sheer cut side, calfskin on the bottom. You can see it uses JLC's latest pull tab spring bars for easy removal of the strap without a tool. And this is a brand new Chagere Lecoult factory strap with no crimping and no gouging. You can see that this is JLC's latest deploying clasp because there's a little button you can push underneath to release the clasp from the strap and that makes sense because you release the strap from the case using the pull tab bar and then you remove the strap from the buckle using the push button and so now you can swap a strap completely without tools. Now you can see the case is characteristic of the Master Ultra Thin. So you have this very spare, integrated and tapering lug. You have a, a bowl-like curve from the flank down to the underside and the watch has a dramatically set back case back. So when, when it's on your wrist, it sort of nestles down and sits lower, creating the impression of a thinner watch. You can also see that the bezel has been stepped back several degrees. And then we have a very simple JL branded polished and knurled crown. We have brilliant cut diamonds ringing the bezel. And they've been set, as you could see, flanking a silver sunburst metallic dial that includes applique, rose gold, and diamond studded hour indices at center. We have Dauphine style hands that have been half frosted for better contrast, and the watch features a setting mode derived from the original caliber 978 Tourbillon GMT that allows you to set the hour hand independently. So this is great if you're traveling and you're jumping time zones in either direction. Now taking a quick look at the Tourbillon, you can see it's very similar to the chron chronometry competition winning caliber 978. In terms of running gear, they're exactly the same. So the Concorde de Chronometrie was held back in 2009 and the JLC Master Tourbillon won against formidable chronometers that were built only for the competition by other brands and it even beat JLC's own Gyro Tourbillon 2. So what you see here is the Tourbillon cage which weighs about a quarter or it has the mass I should say of one quarter of a gram. It is a one minute Tourbillon that acts as the seconds indicator. It beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It is free sprung adjusted in six positions and it has a rare feature for a JLC watch an overcoil hairspring so it'll keep even time in any position. The best finished parts of this movement are the bridges for the Tourbillon and the Tourbillon cage itself, which is made of titanium. You can see here we have fired blue screws, and then we turn the watch over, and you can see we have more. And though this is the JLC caliber 982. It's derived from the 978 that won the chronometry trials. It beats weight 4 hertz, pivots on 33 joules. It is a unidirectional winder with ceramic rotor bearings because ceramic rotor bearings increase efficiency, decrease maintenance needs, and empirically, watch brands have proved that unidirectional winding is more efficient than bidirectional winding. You can also see that this rotor, which is finished in several different degrees with englage, engraving, polishing, and satination, it's made of 22 karat gold, not 21, not 18, and certainly not the tungsten that we see on a lot of current JLC watches. You can see that the bridges of the movement are beveled. It's not the easiest thing to see from head on, but from an angle, you could see that at the very least, uh, these bridges, which were probably started mechanically, were finished by hand to create that mirrored bevel. We have engine turning on the base plate, satination on the wheels, and then we have both circular 
and linear Cote de Genève on the reverse side. All of this water resistant down to a fairly impressive 50 meters, more than the dress watch standard of 30. And it's been through the master 1000 hours control and a JLC. The chronometric standard for watch going through the master 1000 hours control, if that watch is a tourbillon, the standard is going to be to one second per day of accuracy. Remember, the chronometry trials winner actually ran a 47 second gained yearly rate to win the trial. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.